Here are some of the most famous hoaxes in history. In 1934, a surgeon named Robert Wilson, known to be a practical joker, played one of the biggest hoaxes which ended up lasting for decades. Wilson took a picture of the infamous Loch Ness Monster. The picture was known as the surgeon's photograph. But one of the accomplices in the hoax confessed on his deathbed in 1994 that it was nothing more than a toy submarine with a head and neck made of plastic wood. In 1995, a grainy black and white film of an alien autopsy surfaced. It was reported to have been filmed after the alleged 1947 UFO crash in Roswell, New Mexico. After selling it to TV networks, the producer finally admitted it was a recreation of a film he saw in the 90s that had since deteriorated. They used a fake alien dummy and a few frames from the original, but he wouldn't disclose which frames were real. Orson Welles was what some would call a triple threat. His work in radio, theater, and film are hailed as classics, but the real threat was what he did on radio. On October 30, 1938, Welles directed and narrated an adaptation of H.G. Wells' novel War of the Worlds. The first two-thirds of the hour-long show was presented as news bulletins reporting an alien invasion in progress. Even though there were disclaimers during the program, many listeners missed them and newspapers reported people fleeing their homes. In 1983, the German magazine Der Stern paid $6 million as part of one of the most expensive hoaxes in history. Journalist Gerd Heidemann claimed to have received the diaries of Adolf Hitler that had been smuggled out of East Germany by a Dr. Fischer. Although some historians who saw the diaries agreed they were written by Hitler himself, it turned out they were forgeries by a notorious forger. For years, the mysterious formations that show up in farmers' fields have been a mystery. Many believe they were made by alien visitors and their aircraft. But in 1991, two British farmers came forward and admitted they had created hundreds of them. Doug Bauer and Dave Charlie showed the world how they did it by using wooden planks and ropes. Of course, the two can have been responsible for all the crop circles around the world.